everyone my name is piyush sachdeva and in this video i'll introduce you to the concept of agile ci cd and devops what are those and what are the differences between these these three terms and how they are used in the modern software development life cycle if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button below to get notified about all my upcoming videos and give this video a thumbs up if you think this was relevant to you and you learned something out of it again this video is part of the series jenkins tutorials for the beginners so please watch all the videos that i'll be publishing from time to time it will be really helpful for you if you are new to jenkins before we deep dive into ci cd and modern development philosophies let's have a look at the traditional software development life cycle and what were the issues with it Let's say we have multiple teams working in a project such as developer, operations team, quality assurance team or testing team. And then we have a production support team which usually work on the production environments. There could be much more. Multiple developers commit the code to a version control system. Once the code is committed and approved, someone from ops team would then create a build using the code base that was committed. Build is then placed to a shared folder or a network drive or on an environment. The ops team would then deploy the build to a lower environment such as quality assurance after transferring the build to that environment. Testing team uh, is that notified and they start executing their test cases against the build. Reports are then provided to the developers and other stakeholders about the test cases. Developers would then fix the bugs and defects and commit the code again and this process will continue for other environments such as set, performance test environment, there could be hundreds of more environment. Once the change management approve the changes, someone from production support will then deploy the build to the production environment after transferring the build from other environment that was already been tested. Let's have a look at the problems with the traditional software development lifecycle workflow. So in older days, dev, QA's, operation team, prod support, these teams were often siloed and work independently and have no visibility in what's going on with other team even though they were working on the same project. A large group of developers coded for months and they handed the completed code to quality assurance for testing quality assurance then run tests and handed bugs back to the developer for quick fix. Then developer fixed the bugs and handed code back to the quality assurance who reruns the test. Quality assurance then handed the tested code to packaging or deployment team or prod support team for deployment into the production. And then they release the complete product all at once. And if there are any bugs or defects in the production system, then they have to go and do the process all over again. So it's a bit tedious and cumbersome and there were a lot of issues involved with this approach. So let's see what all those issues are. So first one, this is really a time consuming process to deliver all product at once. Then it is unproductive. Changes and releases to the production system are costly and because there is no coordination between different teams, therefore there is a lack of transparency. Developers don't know what's going on in production and prod support team don't know what all the features are upcoming. And then there are a lot of management bottlenecks. So changes are delayed or even rejected at the very last moment and all the teams have no visibility on what's going on with that. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot more issues involved with the traditional workflow. That is why there was a need to change this into some modern deployment and development philosophies. Then agile continuous integration and development, it all comes into the picture. So modern development philosophies, they work and emphasis mainly on collaboration between different teams and individuals. It emphasizes on flexibility in planning and development rather than just executing the task. And it emphasizes on shorter dev cycles. Agile mainly concerns adapting planning and evolutionarize the development work. 
Work is planned and completed in sprints. This is usually one or two weeks of work with uh, frequent, usually daily scrum meetings where all team members report progress and plan their next step. In these meetings, blockers are also reported so that it can be removed or necessary action can be taken in advance. DevOps extend the agile philosophy into operations and production by implementing the automation, monitoring and feedback of all the steps in the development cycle. Sometimes DevOps is considered as a usage of tools to automate different tasks in the CI CD process. However, DevOps is merely a cultural change which brings all the teams together under one single umbrella and uh, to remove all the bottlenecks that were there as part of the previous deployment methodologies. Then we have a term which is also used very frequently, which is continuous. So continuous implements agile and DevOps philosophy with the help of tools that standardize the steps in the process and thoroughly test each code modification before it is integrated into the official source code. Let's see what are, you know, these terms in detail. So let's say we have a process, software development lifecycle process, which usually involves these steps like code commit, build, integrate, test, release, deploy, operate. This is a complete SDLC lifecycle nowadays that we see. And continuous feedback at all the stages were provided from each of the stage. Then if we see the code commit and build part, so this is where agile operates. Agile development is mainly concerned with the development. It does not have any say in operationalizing or testing or uh, releases to the production. So agile is just for the development. Then we have CI, which is continuous integration. It goes from code commit till testing and integration. Then we have CD, which is continuous delivery. Continuous delivery is delivery of code from, from the developer till the production. However, it requires a gate before the production deployment. Usually a manual approval is required before the production. And once it is approved, only then deployment to the production is triggered. However, we have another important term, which is continuous deployment. Continuous deployment is deploying the code, deploying the feature till the production environment without any manual intervention. So understand the difference between continuous delivery and deployment. Delivery involves manual approval before the production deployment. However, continuous deployment is automated at every step. Let's have a look at the difference between CI, CD and continuous deployment. So CI is frequent and automatic integration of code. All the new and modified code is automatically tested with the master code. Continuous delivery is an extension of CI. It ensures that code is always ready to be deployed. Although manual approval is required to actually deploy the software to production. However, continuous deployment automatically deploys all validated changes to production. Frequent feedback enables issues to be found and fixed quickly. So to successfully implement continuous delivery, it is essential to have a collaborative working relationship with everyone involved. You can then use delivery pipelines, which are automatic implementation of your product's life cycle. Right, now we know what exactly is CI CD. Let's have a look why actually we need it. So to detect bugs and problems in the early stages of SDLC. It saves a lot of cost and efforts. It improves the coordination between different teams. Hence, innovative ideas thrive. Faster releases to the production system. Automated testing helps deliver a top-notch quality product. Minimum human intervention. Hence, there are less chances of manual errors because everything is automated. Let's have a look at CloudBees and Jenkins community. What is Jenkins? What is CloudBees? How they are related with each other? So Jenkins is most widely used CI CD server. 
Kosuke Kawaguchi, one of the founders of CloudBees, created this tool in 2006 as the Hudson project and then in 2011 it was renamed as Jenkins. Jenkins is maintained and supported by an independent and active community which is Jenkins.io and they welcomes new contributor of for all technical and experience level. CloudBees partners with Jenkins community for development and maintenance tasks and CloudBees engineer they contribute significantly to the Jenkins project and they coordinate with the community on releases and contribute fixes back to the community. We'll now have a look at the Jenkins workflow. Let's say you have multiple developers working on a feature. They would commit the code to a version control system on their feature branch using a pull request. Code will then be merged to the deployment branch once it is approved. As soon as the code is merged, Jenkins would trigger a build with the help of a webhook using tools such as Maven, Gradle, NPM. Once the build is created successfully, it would trigger the test cases using the tools such as Selenium, JUnit, and then it reports the test cases to the developer and stakeholders and it will be uploaded to a repository for archiving and analytics purpose. If the test cases are passed, then the build will be scanned for vulnerability and static code analysis using tools such as Black Duck, SonarCube. Once the previous stages are successful, it will upload the build to a build repository such as Nexus, JFrog Artifactory. This complete process from build, test, scan, integration is commonly referred to as continuous integration or CI. The build is then transferred to a lower environment such as dev for the deployment using tools such as Ansible, Helm for Kubernetes related deployments. Once it is approved and tested in dev, it would then be deployed in a pre-prod or a UAT environment. Once it is approved in testing in UAT, it is then ready for the deployment in production. The process of deploying all the validated changes onto the production environment is called continuous deployment. However, continuous delivery ensures that manual approval is required before delivering the code to production. CD also involves continuous feedback and monitoring at all the stages of the software development lifecycle and this Complete process can be automated using Jenkins pipeline. Pipeline is actually a glue which holds all the tools and steps together in a process. This is an ongoing and a continuous process. So once one feature is completed, team will start working on the next feature and they will work in parallelly as well. I hope this video was somewhat beneficial to you and you have learned something out of it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below. It would make a huge difference for us. If you are new to my channel, I request you to subscribe it by hitting the subscribe button below and click on the bell icon to get notified about all my upcoming videos. If you have a question related to this video, then please let me know at the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon with the next video.